and I, what you know, a dud. I, I mean, God, in dud. general, in general, a dud or a just generally a dud. Generally a dud. Because I was excited after the first series when Jacoby Brissett came out. I was like, all right, we're gonna see this kid, and he's gonna get some good. He's gonna get a, a you know, some good time with the first unit. And he was literally in there, like you said, for one series. And I think it was what three and out. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was a. I thought, like Wiggy did, that it was going to likely be the rest of the half would be Drake May, and it was going to. It was a sign to me that wow, this is you know, Brissett's obviously the leader right now, but Mayo's giving May an opportunity. It's going to be with the ones that I figured you know Andrews would leave in the second quarter. Some of the linemen would shift, but it would show the opportunity and. If you're, you know, somebody who left Boston yesterday at 5 o'clock and you drive down, you sit in traffic for an hour and a half, you get there, you go through the 16 security checkpoints, you finally get to your seat for your $15 beer, and you see Brissette leave, and you're like, oh, nice, like, it's worth it, it's raining, it's gross, I'm here with family and friends, but at least I get to see the start of the Drake May era. And then he gets taken out. And I have to say, like, this is not personal. I like Devin and Jason McCourty. I think Zoe's a great guy. The way in which they're trying to be this, like, Al Jazeera about the Patriots, it's like, it's so, and it's not them specifically, but it's this over-the-top positivity. And you see the film, right? Robert Kraft walks on the field. Oh, there happened to be 15 cameras for him to give a handshake and a hug to Gerard Mayo before the game. It's like... Yeah. None of that matters unless you're good. I, I mean, I didn't mind the McCordys and and Zolak. Mm -hmm. I, I thought they, I, I, I could have used less Steve Burton. I, I mean, I, I didn't. Oh, Steve I, but, Burton day. Uh, but I don't. I mean, I, I didn't mind the, I didn't mind the way they did the broadcast. I, I like the broadcast. It's overly positive. It's like uh, they're going down to Brian Hoyer and they're waxing poetic about Bailey Zappi's demeanor. It's like, okay. But it's the first preseason game, Curtis. Like, what do you expect? Like, it was like, let's different see, than in years past. I well, that's the whole. The, that's the whole hope for this mm -hmm. team that it's going to be different than years past. I just think that Zoe and the McCourty twins, I thought did an awesome job. And I think that if you're a Patriots fan and you're watching the first preseason game of this entirely new looking franchise, then you want the positivity. Like that's the whole point. I think, but I, I think going in I, there and being, Oh, Oh, sad, sad, sad. Oh gosh, here we go. Terrible. The, the good times mm -hmm. are past. Well, what are you expecting the rest of the season? I, I would have loved for one of them to express some frustration that, Drake may only play the series, or at least discuss that, because that was the story of the night. Yeah, that was the, like, the defense, I felt like, all right, they looked decent, you know, they, especially the pass rush, they had some, you know, some newer guys out there that were able to create some problems up front, and I wasn't really tripping about watching the defense. I wanted to see Drake May, and I wanted to see him longer than a series. I know it was raining and the weather was kind of crappy, but at least I wanted to see how he, you know, orchestrated the offense were there any delay of games you know what did he change some plays there was one time he on um, his one play he changed it a little bit he moved it back to one side so you want to just see how he handles the operation and yeah I, w I thought I was going to see it for you know maybe into the second quarter but just when he only had those three series and then he was out and then Zappy was in I was like okay are they going Zappy and then Back to Drake May? Yeah. Right, I well, that's... I mean, if you want improv, you're going to have to get behind Milton Mania. That's what you're going to oh, have to do. Oh, man, we're going to hear that I, one now. It's, now we... it's, it's gone from Malik Mania to Milton yeah. Mania. I I'm not really it. jumping into that. I mean, he did a good job. He he showed his athletic ability. He he reminds me of a like a, a athletic – Cam Newton when he was younger in the league, but that's who he reminds me of. But yes. you don't draft Drake May number three overall to um, – Say, all right, you're competing with, what, the six-round pick in Joe Milton? So yeah. I'm not like, – if he makes good plays, great, but and, dude, we're not going to see him at all. And, Shime, I think, unfortunately, you're not going to see Drake May week one. I mean, if there was any opportunity, if he really was in a tryout here, you were going to see him that first half and give him an opportunity. The fact that they, they played a series – Tells me it's going to be Jacoby Brissett for at least the first month or two of the season. Oh, see, I well, totally see disagree. I think I got the exact opposite vibe from this because clearly it's Jacoby Brissett and Drake May are the two guys, and they haven't decided exactly which one is going to start week one, which is why neither of them played more than two series in this game. I mean, J Drake May threw, what, three passes? Jacoby Brissett has played for years in the NFL. They're not, so? going, to allow, they're not going to allow Drake May to the only thing Drake May needs to do to catch up to Jacoby Brissett because he's a more talented player is reps. 
And if you clearly, that- if they don't give him that here, Curtis, then clearly they don't necessarily believe that right this second. Or they just don't think the offensive line is capable of protecting him. So they protected him though pretty yeah. well. I mean, they looked good. Yeah, I see. And In I kind of I mean, agree with Shime though. I think like after last night, what it did show me is that maybe they are more on. I don't want to say. Uh, uh, competition level but maybe at least in the games that that was the approach to me last night where you had two guys that are competing for to see who the starting quarterback is because even with Jacoby Brissett he still needs to work with that with the first unit so why wouldn't you say okay Jacoby we're giving you the first two series he went one series and uh, Drake May went one so I, I kind of see like what's going to be co- interesting is the breakdown competition, why wouldn't they keep yeah, I don't, on that? I don't know why they wouldn't do that in practice I just don't get well, so, no, but even Curtis is suggesting that last night, if it is a competition, yeah. if you're Gerard Mayo and you're unsure at this point right. of who your week one starter is, why not give both of them more reps? I, I don't know that. that that's, that, to me, is the, that was the, that's the head scratcher. Yeah. So I want to see. Patrick Mahomes is going to have the same amount of reps as Drake May <laughs> in the first preseason. So game. what's going to be interesting is how is he going to do it in week two? So they got to play a little bit more. And when he went in with Andrews in the first unit, Drake, man, I was like, oh, okay, this is his real, like, they want to see him and what he looks yeah. like. I I just, I'm with you. It is a head scratcher. To, to, he made it seem like they were competing in the game the way he rotated the two of them. But in practice, Drake May gets no reps with the one, so... It's just kind of weird on why he did it like that last night. All right. Well, there is a lot to talk about.